As the sun sets on day one of X Games Aspen, the real fun begins underneath the lights here at Buttermilk as we welcome you now to the Monster Energy Women's Snowboard Super 5. What's happening, everybody? Brandon Graham joined alongside my partner, Craig McMorris, and we welcome two-time gold medalist in this event, Tora Bright. Tora, I'm so excited for this one. Four rookies in this field, but all eyes will be on Chloe Kim making her triumphant return to the Aspen stage. She almost needs no introdu introduction. The queen of halfpipe. Her translucent riding is really unmatched, and tonight is a big one. If she lands, she gets that gold medal. She will be even with Kelly Clark with seven golds. That is unbelievable to think about Chloe Kim still very much in the prime of her riding career, but she will be pushed, Craig. Absolutely, and an individual that I think will push Chloe Kim, Mitski Ono. Okay, I know what you're thinking, Craig. She's only competed at one other X game. She got fifth, but guess what? She's been working on her game, okay? You're going to see a lot of mirror tricks. You might see a front seven to a cab seven, a cab seven to a front seven, and we also know she's got that beautiful cab 1080, which is a very difficult trick, a hammer, if you will. <laughs> she could put that all together. She could rival Chloe Kim in this pipe, Randa. Well, before we kick things off, let's head up to the fourth member of our team at the top of the pipe, DC. Thank you very much, Brando. Hanging out up here at the top of the pipe. It's Friday Night Lights here in Aspen, and we're getting ready to see this amazing showcase of women snowboarding here in the Super Pipe. As you guys were mentioning, the return of Chloe Kim. We haven't seen her since 2021, and she has been informed. So excited to see her come back, but she has got her work cut out for her. Some amazing women, and also an update for you all. Maddie Mastro had to drop out, unfortunately, some bumps and bruises from a crash in locks last week. And we have got Kinsley White, an X Games rookie, a member of the U.S snowboard team and coming out of that mammoth pipeline of talent so it's going to be an amazing night first night of x games let's do this back to you guys yeah unfortunately maddie mastro unable to make it up here tonight but you're taking a look at our field it also should be mentioned gone Choi who came correct last year really made her presence felt because of an injury also not competing here tonight but our starting lineup here in the Monster Energy Women's Snowboard Super Pipe. Craig, a lot of young names in this one. Absolutely. One young name I'm very excited about, the Canadian Brooke DeHaunt. She skates a lot of transition in the summer. We've seen her on this stage before, so it's not new to her. Uh, maybe could pull something out tonight. Well, without further ado, let's kick things off. Making her X Games debut 20 years old out of Santa Clarita, California. When she's not snowboarding in the super pipe, she's a psych major at UCLA. No big Welcome deal. Welcome to the X Games, <laughs> Kinsley White. Do you remember the first time dropping in for your very first X Games tour? I do, and she is feeling exactly that. And it started just walking up, hearing the music blaring, board under your arm, lights, the pipe lit up, and you feel like a rock star. So I hope she felt that. So here's Kinsley White dropping in for our first run of the night. Kinsley left foot forward in her natural way of riding, starting off that nice backside air tail grab. Oh, that was a very nice axis of rotation there. It, it really was. <laughs> There's a look at the front side 540, sneaking in a melon grab right there. And then the backside 540. Nice little nose grab, and you got to think, Tora, the stage is huge, you're nervous, just do the tricks you can do, get one out of the way, right? As a rookie, she is so stoked to be here for the first time, and she landed her first round, and she should be proud, and I, that access of that seven, I... I liked it. What? What is? I don't know. You know what? If she would have done it switch, I would have probably called it a chicane. Uh, but it yeah. was like a regular, or sorry, uh, um, <laughs> a hawk and flip. But it wasn't really. It was a regular seven, just very upside down. I don't think I've seen that one. No. But again, she just got the call. Literally less than an hour ago, Maddie Mastro dropped. So yeah. you talk about nerves in your first X Games, being the first to drop in. Oh, by the way, she wasn't even sure coming into today if she was going to be competing. But she's out here. A score of 56.66 sets the stage. So we turn our attention now to another X Games rookie, just 17 years old, coming off a very impressive second place finish at the Lox Open just a week ago, B. Kim. Tora, we were talking before 
uh, this event, you got to be careful because B, uh, she tries to switch it up on you a little bit, hey? Yeah, it messes with you because a lot of the runners switch. Here right now, taking in left foot forward or natural way of riding. But watch for some tricks, or your switch tricks later down the pipe. And here it starts, switch riding. We don't see a cap five that often, right? No. You'll see a lot of hawk and flips, cap sevens. This is hard, switch back side five. With a cap seven. And the front side, nine yeah. under! Do you believe it, folks? I do. Way to start. She will feel so relieved to put that first run down. And that, I mean, we saw her take second in Lux, and this is, this is a very similar run. And the Aspen crowd absolutely loving it. Take another look from B. Kim's first run. There's that front seven right off the top. And then, as you mentioned, the switch tricks just uh, come in an onslaught. Yeah. And look at that grabbing the whole way around. Landing a little bit lower, redirecting on the edge, but she still got into that, that last hit and got that nine around. She really gave it some and got that nine around. She did. You can tell her to let feet. go of the grab a little bit at the yeah. uh, halfway through, but got the rotation. Look how sweet she is. <laughs> I am lucky enough to meet her mother and her father, and every athlete has an incredible team behind them. A score of 78 for the 17-year-old, who's the youngest competitor in tonight's field. So here now, Emily Arthur out of Sydney, 24 years old, also making her X Games debut. Her career role model, two-time X Games gold medalist, Tora Bright. Ever Who? heard of her? Who? <laughs> <laughs> so here's Emily dropping in for her X Games debut. Sneaking that front line. A little bit opposite of what we saw from yes. BKM putting the 900 at the bottom. Emily Arthur putting it right at the top. She's staying on her feet, and that's what we want to see. Oh, and then blast a nice air at the end. And I've had the pleasure of getting to know Emily, riding with her, Roxy, and the backcountry in Australia, ski touring, you know, having some good laughs, and I'm so happy she got that run done, and I think she'll be very pleased with it. And you can't see this on camera, but the first thing she did is she unstrapped and looked right at Tora. <laughs> but lots to love in this run, Tora. That front nine right off the top, maybe wants to clean that up a little bit, but that yes. was probably my favorite hit. This Beautiful my favorite. Stale stale fish. Fish. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that front nine, she just, she just left a little bit too early. Landing low in the transition. It's not a great setup in the next hit, but she she kept it running. She landed a run. She can definitely clean up on that. So a 59 comes in for Emily Arthur on her first run of the night. Emily. <laughs> I say. Yeah. Awesome first run. No big deal. That's no the beauty of being course side with the booth, yeah, right? Yeah, just dapping up the superstars. Just mingling with the yeah. athletes. <laughs> Feels good, doesn't it? <laughs> so here's Bernice Vicky, an X Games rookie. Now, a podium finish here would make her just the third Swiss woman to earn a medal in this discipline. Can she do it in her very first X Games? We'll find out as she drops in now. Beautiful backside five. Taking it seven, coming in switch. Yes. Oh my. Oh wow. Yes. And the alley -oop. Now, That is my favorite. Now we got a new favorite yes. dance. <laughs> I love seeing the variation of, of tricks because in the half pipe there is actually six ways to spin. Correct. And she added in the alley -oop variation there, and it is so hard and so stuck. And you know what I love about this run, Tora, is she doesn't lose height on a lot of the hits, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Maybe it's a bit of a more technical trick. She's still going seven, eight feet. She's averaging yes. the same height, and the judges are going to like to see that amplitude throughout the entirety of your run. And that speaks to her ability to ride transition. Right. Fully on display there. And Craig, she's been coached most of her career by Pepe Ragazzi, the Swiss coach, of course, who coached iPod, Yuri Podlachikov, and, and Jan Sherrill. He's got a pedigree. 
I think it's going to be a huge score. 75 for Vicky, putting her up into that silver medal position. Well, we're halfway through run number one here in the Monster Energy Women's Snowboard Super Pipe under the lights. And it was a rookie show. Those first four riders to drop in, yeah. all making their X Games debut and all impressive first runs when you consider all of that. But we now start to drop in more of our veterans making her third X Games appearance out of Calgary, Brooke Dawn. I met Brooke for the first time last night. And she, she's ready for it. She's ready? It's her third appearance. And she just said she's excited to be here. X Games makes her better, a better shredder. Well, there's something about being under the lights in the world's greatest pipe. You elevate your riding, right? It just pushes you. And how about that? What? Look at the shocks on Brooke DeHaunt. How do you land a frontside 900? Oh. oh. Such a shame to get to the end of the run and just get hooked up like that. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to see the replay. Yeah, let's run that <laughs> first hit through its entirety because I want to show the folks at home how much impact this is, right? Okay, so front side nine. She lets go of the grab right there. You're thinking, oh, she's got the landing. Very she wants to land up here, and she lands way down here. I mean, the shocks you need, the leg strength you need. Yeah. It's hard. She's been, she's been snowboarding a lot, for one, to get that strength, and maybe in the gym. So Brooke will look to improve upon, but perhaps a preview of what's to come on run number two. It should be noted, we have not seen her here in Aspen since 2021 when she took seventh place. So she's hungry to get back in. So what's at stake here in the super pipe? Three runs, the best single score counts. Judging though, amplitude, difficulty, combinations, and execution. Now those are all nice and pretty words. It's something though that's so subjective, but we have the best judges in the business. When you see it, you know it, and it'll get shown here tonight. So Mitsuki Ono, second X Games appearance, took fifth place here in super pipe last year. I just love watching the Japanese ride, like Mitsuki. Oh my good word. That is mind blowing. Whoa. Now she's coming in switch. <laughs> okay. Uh, the height meter, her highest air, 12 feet above this super pipe. What I love, averaging 10 feet a hit. These are 22 foot walls, Craig. Yeah. Put that into perspective. Backside indie there, I like that. Absolutely. It's very stylish. Now she's spinning. It grabs the tail, comes and around nine. Look how much real estate she covers there, bro. The front side, like the height, the front side, the style on it all, the backside five. Everything was done beautifully, and that's what we see from the Japanese riders all round. But Mitsuki just hammered at home. And a hammer of a score break. We over. have a new leader. Oh, no, yeah. taking over first place with an 87. I'm a fan. <laughs> I got a bit shy then. I wanted to go give her a high five, but I'm like, all right, all right. And we know she has more. Absolutely. That's uh, yeah. that's maybe her B run. We know she's got a cap 10. We know yeah. she's got some more technical tricks she could toss in there. Shutong Sai making her ninth X Games appearance, owner of four X Games medals, one silver and three bronze. Can she get back on the podium? She's our defending bronze medalist from 2023. Tonton, she's one of my favorite riders. The trickery, she mixes it up. Beautiful front nine in the backside 540. You'll notice the first rider we've seen. Now this that is, is what we're hanging on. Yeah, and that's it, a fakey. And do a beautiful cap set. Ah, uh, little alley -oop. I know she's gearing up for something there. 
<laughs> and that method might have been my favorite part of the whole run. Uh, I go ahead and second that. I was just saying, our first rider we've seen right foot forward, and that air to fake, he was so <laughs> sick. Tonton might have told me that she uh, she did take that grab on the air to fake from me, so I felt very privileged. You're very attached to this yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> I, love, I love her riding, and she loves snowboard. Look at that pod grab and tweak. And in that order, folks, don't get it twisted. She loves snowboarding, and I see her out there enjoying nature and snowboarding, riding powder, and that's what it's all about, and it translates. Look how she's riding transition. And 83.66 for Shutong, good enough for second place. As you said, she said to our own researcher, Colin Bain, it's a pure love of snowboarding that drives me more than the medals. There we have it. And wasn't that fully on display there mm -hmm. on run number one? And now the that queen. moment we've all been waiting for. Making her return to the Aspen stage for the first time in three years. Owner of eight X Games medals, six of them gold. Can she tie Kelly Clark here tonight for the all-time gold medal count? She is the one and only Chloe Kim. That height? Wow. Bye. That's the front side 10. Let's go. Uh, Switch. Switch. Switch method. <laughs> method. Okay. That's really good. That's really good, eh, Tora? <laughs> wow. I mean, Chloe I Kim, welcome back to Aspen. <laughs> I am so pleased for her because coming off of, you know, a fall in Lux and to put her first run down, you know, and all these athletes are battling injuries and Chloe likes so much on her, but she did it. Absolutely. And you know what we love about Chloe Kim's riding? It's a choose your own adventure book, right? <laughs> she can go every which way. That's one version of her run. She can go back up there and do a completely different version. And me guess is she can probably get a winning score. Chloe is podium perfect from her previous eight appearances across 10 years like at X Games. The height on this hit. And that was a cat 10. That's that a takeoff switch, land switch. It's just silly. Yeah. Okay, I... A 96.3. Tor's getting in the ring. Chloe Kim takes over first place. And the first one to greet her, our own Tora Bright. <laughs> the question is, will anyone catch Chloe Kim? It's going to be tough. Stay tuned to find out. Snowboard super pipe, and who could have guessed it? In her return to X Games Aspen after three years away, Chloe Kim picking up right where she left off with a commanding first run, taking over first place, and I don't know if she's going to give it back. We'll find out. But before we get going for run number two, let's head back up to DC. Thank you, Brando. I just had to take a moment to check in with some, not only women's super pipe royalty, but some Aspen royalty in the house, X Games royalty. We got Gretchen Blyler, five-time X Games medalist, four of those gold. Gretchen, how are you doing? Hi, DC. It's great to see you. It's great to see you as well. All right, real quick before we get on with the second run out here, thoughts on what we just saw go down from these women on that first run? Well, I mean, I, uh, I know Tong Tong from back in my day. Uh, I was really impressed with Mats Matsuki's run. And then, of course, I mean, Chloe is Chloe. Chloe is Chloe and just did Chloe Kim's. No surprise there at all. Surprise. But it was a surprise seeing you up here. Thank you so much for your time. We're going to send it back so we can get on with some more snowboarding. Gretchen Blyler, everybody, respect. I love it. We got Tora Bright in the booth now. We got Gretchen Blyler out here. We got Chloe Kim putting on a clinic in the pipe. It's an embarrassment of riches, folks. That's what that is. So we kick off run number two with one of our four rookies in the field, Kinsley White, 20 years old, out of Santa Clarita. If you're just joining us, Kinsley was an alternate and Maddie Mastro going down in practice. Um, she had an injury she was dealing with from an earlier contest and it just got aggravated. So. 
Kinsley getting the call really just uh, less than an hour before this comp went down. Props to her for really putting down a full pull on the first run. Excited to see now that maybe the pressure's off just a little bit, if checking how the nerves are. What does she have for run number two? She's left foot forward. So dropping in natural to her backside wall. Nice tail wrap. And it is that axis yeah. you talked about. It is such a... It's like a last-minute upside-down. Yeah, thing. very unorthodox yeah. way of approaching a frontside rotation, right? Almost throws her head back as opposed to up. Yeah. I like it. I love anything different, anything new. Well, and that's the what the judges are kind of looking for through the entirety of this competition is we want to see you go big. We want to see you do technical tricks and be different. What is your stamp? How can you be creative? And transition riding, it is so technical. These girls, you know they know how to ride the mountain if they can ride transition like this. Edge control, speed, and the margin for error, Tora, is... And it's all about line. And your line is different in every pipe. And actually, this pipe is the best in eight years, I'm being told. That's because you wrote it, right? <laughs> <laughs> now we got Frank Wells back cutting the half pipe. Eve, I'm loving the booth crew down in the action with the athletes, Brando, Craig, and Tora. Thank you, Eve. Yeah, we're having a blast out here. You know, we're usually, let's pull the curtain out. We're usually in a parking lot in some trailer, right? Now we're feeling it. The energy is palpable out here at Buttermilk. But here's B. Kim on her second run. Had a really solid first run score of 78 just outside of podium position. Oh. See, what she is doing there and attempting is actually very difficult because she's going up switch, landing switch, and then coming into the backside wall switch. And that is perhaps the most technical trickery you can do. Well, switch backside is the hardest rotation in the half pipe. So a bummer she got unstuck. Just a little bit heel heavy. Maybe behind the spin would have to see a replay to, like, for sure know what happened there. But... Um, all right that's the beauty of the x games it's three runs <laughs> but again be fresh off of her first world cup podium finish at the locks open and emily arthur do you know there's a few parallels between us our brothers coach us coach okay me. Yep. her brother coaches emily she grew up snowboarding where i grew up learning how to snowboard and here she is on the x Games stage for the first time she got an alternate spot and she is pumped very excited to be here I love her jacket too, by the way. What Very is that? fresh kiss. It's salmon? It's salmon. Fair to say. So here's Emily Arthur, run number two. Oh! She was going for the 900 there. It's not quite the rotation. It, it pains me physically, actually, to watch this. It takes me back. I have noticed that. When, yeah. when I do it's, see falls, you, you tend to turn away. We're yeah. flinching and we're jumping. and uh, it's, it's a physical reaction. It's, yeah. it's because of experience. Right. Well, and Emily, you know, we, we both ride for Roxy, and we've, we've got to know each other. Now, Tora, in run one, she kind of squeaked us around. What happened here? I believe she just, she's taking off a little bit too early. She needs to let it run, let that nose leave the coping before she initiates. I say it all the time, patience is a virtue in snowboarding. Yes. She's going to want to rebate that on the third run. She's been to two Olympics for Team Australia. And she's making her X Games debut here tonight. As is this 21-year-old, Bernice Vicky. Sitting in fifth place with that 75. Can she knock on podium's door here in her first ever X Games? Tora, I was really, really impressed with Bernice's first round. Yeah, I'd actually never seen her ride, and that's a beautiful backside five. Front side seven, just a little heel heavy, losing a bit of speed, but she still carries it. She's got the crippler on the... Yeah. That was looking really, really nice. 
We got the thumbs up. She's okay. The alley-oop, again, is a really difficult trick because it's all about being patient, keeping your line down the pipe. It's almost like you've got to do a straight air and then rotate. It's, it's kind of a, it's mental. You want to be like, I'm going straight up, and then yeah. the rotation happens yeah. way after. You don't see a lot of them these you know, days. It's very hard. Yeah, yeah. It's because it's, it's hard, <laughs> it's right? It's very hard. <laughs> so we move on to the 18-year-old, Brooke Dumont. Sitting in eighth place, had a throwaway on her first run. Her coach, Bud Keen, of course, Coach Sean White, Danny Cass, Gretchen Blyler, Hannah Teeter. Good company. Can she put something together here on run number two? There we go. She's got that nine round. Backside five. Coming in switch now at that front seven. Oh! That one is a hard one. That's a towage. Brooke was putting it together, goes down hard, but she does pop up and is riding away. You hate to see it, but you love to see her able to get back up under her own accord for sure. When she's able to ride down and stand, you know it's she's she's okay. She's not winded. That's you know. Taking a toe edge like that is so difficult. That was a very violent fall, and it just is so frustrating to see after such a good run, right? That yeah. front nine, the big back five. She had it going. Everything it was, was just, coming together. Just that hawk and flip, unfortunately. So Mitsuki Ono sitting in that silver medal spot. You know, I'd like to think if this was any other contest. <laughs> That's probably a gold medal run, but with <laughs> Chloe Kim, uh, <laughs> times they are a change in. But what can she do for an encore here and uh, maybe knock on Chloe's door? Backside hit first. I like seeing that backside indie there. Wow, the amplitude. Unreal. Backside five. Now, Tori, we know she's got a cap 1080. Keeping it to cap seven there, maybe saving it for third and final run. Oh. Yeah, she's she's got to keep it for that third and final run. But it's again, funny. the height, 12 foot two. I mean, it's there. Yeah. She's got everything. Yeah. She's got beautiful transition right. riding, holding the line, no speed checks. She just lets it flow, and then. With the, the height, that's how you know she's got perfect line in the pipe. Beautiful front side nine tail grab. Perfect landing too. Yeah. Little redirection. Here's where she would have probably put yeah. that cap ten in yeah. there, but. Oh. And there you see Chloe watching. Well, after run one showed nearly all full pulls, run two uh, has not been the same. All of the ladies going down at some point on their runs. We'll see if Tong Tong can break that trend here on her second run as she's sitting in that bronze medal spot in that lovely taxi yellow. I first remember <laughs> meeting Tong Tong in 2010 and my first World Cup back after shoulder surgery. So shoot Tong Sai, sitting with that 83.66, drops in for her second run. And she is one of two goofy riders. The front side hit. Oh. Oh. And she washes out right out of the gate. Craig, what happened there? That front side 900 um, has kind of had some numbers here tonight. We've seen a couple falls yeah. in the front nine. But you know Tong Tong very well. What you going to say to herself on the sled back up to the top? You know what? Talking to Tong Tong, she's here to have fun. And that's what I I loved about my time in competition, too, is that we were up there dancing at the top of the pipe, just having fun. And, you know, it's your, your life, your body's on the line. Like, it's you've got to be having fun out there to push yourself. And she really relayed that, like, 
X Games is fun. No pressure for her. So there's Chloe trying to get the track. What's going to be playing for her on run number two? Oh, there's an IG post from Chloe. Shout out to mom for the chain. 2024, kind of cute so far. Honestly true though, <laughs> super true. Can't wait to see my collection on the mountain this season. Get yours at, oh, that's a cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> so what does Chloe Kim do here? She's comfortably in the lead. All of the other ladies here on run two have gone down. Do we see a B run, something safe? Does she push herself? She's gotta be already feeling a level of confidence after what she did in run one, Tora. I know that she wants to put on the biggest spectacle for everybody here cheering her on. And when she came down, she was so relieved. And I hugged her and she said, I've still got it. And I'm like, of course you do, Chloe. And I know she's got more. Which is wild for a 23-year-old to say, by the way. <laughs> I've still got it. So here's Chloe Kim sitting in first place. Oh, oh, oh. The biggest hair we've seen. And the best method we've seen. Frontside 10 coming in, switch. So here she comes in to switch backside method, and this is very hard setting up for this hit. Oh. <laughs> she just didn't quite have it, I think. She knew she didn't, so she had to play it safe. But well, I, I love the fact that she's throwing in that switch method mid-run. Yeah. Shout out Danny Davis. Yes. yes. And it looks like a straight air, but I cannot hammer home how hard it is to do a switch backside well, method. And look at this. Look yeah. how high is that? Can come we, on can down, we, like, Chloe. We're worried yeah. about you. Come on down. She's way up there. She's, She's way going up to the there. Moon. 14 feet, 9 inches, Craig. But how rarely do you see a massive method, regular footed, and then halfway down the pipe, you do a switch method? You just don't see that. You don't. But she's using it as a setup, and I know she wants to do something big on this last hit. Something cab, obviously, you could something take it cab. off switch. Yep, cab front. So 58.33, Chloe Kim will hold on to her 96.33, and first place oh. is where she will stay. <laughs> yeah. Third and final runs when we return here in Aspitch. the Monster Energy Women Snowboard Superpipe here in Aspen, Colorado. Run two wasn't quite what we saw in run number one. It's Chloe Kim still leading the way, but we'll see what the ladies have in store here. Our group of four rookies kicking things off here on run number three, headlined by Kinsley White. So this is it. If you think about some of these rookies making their X Games debut, this is their last chance to put that stamp on this super pipe here in Aspen. Go for broke. You've got nothing to lose right now. And I feel she's got nothing to lose. Put it all on the line. Tora, what would you tell Kinsey White before she drops in? You know what? I'd tell her, believe in yourself. Oh, that just gave me chills. I will. Oh, sorry, that was for her. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> so here's Kinsley White dropping in for the final time here in the Monster Energy Women's Snowboard Superpipe. Is that a double tail grab? That was. Can confirm. Double tail grab. What's better than one, two? Oh, she held on. To the cap seven. Coming regular now. Grounds at five. Yes. She's going to feel good about that. She stayed on her feet. I'm assuming her professors at UCLA knew she was going to be out of class I, this I week. Was, I was told she gets no extension on homework, no extension on the papers, but they have to give her a little there break for that double tail grab right there. I like that. So that'll do it for Kinsley White's night. 
here in Super Pipe, a score of 37. She'll hold on to that first run score. Seventh place is where she will stay. So now we turn our attention to B. Kim, another rookie here. But she has not ridden like a rookie here today. She's sitting in fourth place just outside of the vet ridden sitting one, two, and three. Can B. Kim get into a podium spot right here, right now, Tora? We'll find out very soon. <laughs> but she has the tricks. She has the trickery. And if she can keep it all solid with amplitude the whole way down the pipe. Seven. And a big one at that. Yes. That was nice. Coming in switch here. Switch backside. Yes. Hey! Switch front side seven to front nine. Yes. That was a combo. Switch back five, the hardest way you can possibly yep. spin. Into the cap seven. Yep. And then cap things off with a front side 900. This could be interesting. Does this challenge Shutong? What do you think? I, I, that front nine, adding that at the bottom, yeah. And look, look at that first hit. Could the youngest competitor in her field, making her X Games nice. debut, get on the podium here tonight? X Games, anything is possible. See, that little hand pat, they, the judges could mark that down. An 80.33, so it's her best uh, score of the night, but she does not move up on the well leaderboard. Done. But what a showing for young B. Kim out here at the X Games. There's a long future ahead for B. I was just going to say. No. Oh, we're going to see a lot more. Yeah. So here's Emily Arthur sitting in sixth place. Now, Emily Arthur actually trained in Mammoth Mountain with Ben Widener, who also coaches, well, has coached Chloe, B, like Maddie. There's a whole crew that have come through Mammoth Mountain snowboard team. I was going to ask you, why do you think it is that they're just pumping out such talented riders? You know, it does come down to the athlete, but Ben Weisner is a great coach, too. It's like the Shanahan coaching tree. <laughs> All the talent that comes out of it. Here's Emily Arthur's third and final run. She's playing it safe here. I was just going to say, folks, you have to remember, if you're just joining us, she did have a pretty tough fall yeah. in her second run. So she, yeah, she's that last run, definitely she's feeling it. She just showed up. And she's just having fun down the pipe, showing us some lovely little bones in her grabs. And you know what? There's nothing better than doing straight airs down a pipe. I want to go give her a hug. Go give her a hug. Clearly, that front side nine took it down. So Take I'm the headset in. off. Torrance, go whatever you want. She's going in, folks. Torrance from the top ropes. This is amazing. How come you never did this before, Craig? Well, <laughs> I was always chained and shackled to the chair. They didn't want me getting out. I'll be honest with you. I didn't know we were allowed to do it. Yeah. I think when you win multiple gold medals at the X Games, you uh, I do what operate I want. under a different set of rules. I do what I want. Sorry, guys. You know, we got to celebrate the, the greatness, but we got to we gotta support this. It's the... amazing. <sighs> so Bernice Vicky, sitting in fifth place, had that really strong first run score of a 75. Can she put together an even cleaner full pull on her final attempt here? Big backside five on her last start. Let's see if she goes back to the well. That she does. Ah, we got it. Winding up. Front side seven. Cab seven. And there's that crippler. Yes. Oh. <laughs> there was almost a snow stake. She almost got bit. <laughs> almost, but she held on to it. She's going to be happy that she put that run down. Just look at that first hit, that big backside 540. So tough to be patient so on the tough. heels all the way up this 22-foot super pipe. And, and look, she waited. That. She left. Yes. Beautiful. The alley 540. 
So a 74 for Vicky. Not quite enough to match her first run score. So she will stay in fifth place. So we're halfway through the final runs here in the Monster Energy Women's Snowboard Superpipe. And the question really becomes, Craig McMorris and Tora Bright, is who is going to catch Chloe Kim? Any takers? Well, guys, I said it with Chloe Land, she wins. But we still have yet to see Mitsuki. We still yet have yet to see Tong Tong. It yeah. ain't over, folks. We know Mitsuki has a 10. So it could it could change things. We'll see. Yeah, it's amazing as we've gotten here to our third and final runs. We look back at some of the highlights. Chloe Kim just putting on a show, picking up where she left off on that first run for a monster score of 96.33. And Chloe, she took three years off. Two, two years off. And then she comes back and she's just this. Like that did her a world of good. Yeah, and it's really extraordinary. We talked about it, right? We have not seen her here since 2021. She had primarily taken a lot of time off from all contests. And we laugh when she says, I still got it. You know, she whispers yeah. to you because we think, of course, you still got it. You're yeah. you're like already your trajectory yeah. is to be the best of the best. What runs were you on? <laughs> <laughs> but that just shows the human side of it. Hey, can I come back to the biggest stage in snowboarding and still put it down? And she answered the call. The Canadian Brooke DeHaan switching up her run yes. completely. She was starting with the front nine in the last two. Opts for the big oh method into the front nine. Whips it around, Tora. Yes. I'm nervous. I want her to land this. Here's where she went down in her last run. Very tough fall, the chicane. Sorry, that pocket flip. Yes. Jeeper. And Brooke DeHaan saving her best for last. She was sitting in eighth place, had not put down a full pool, and that all changed on the final run here tonight. I loved everything about this, and forgive me, I said chicane, I meant Hawking right at the end. That method, though, Tori, come on. Fall. Like, there we go, that pop grab tweak. And they're the things I love, just like making something simple just special. Brooke DeHaan she definitely lands. did that on that first hit. That button. nine that set her up for the rest of the run. Front seven, and then as I mentioned, in that second of three runs, she took a very hard fall on this hawk and flip right here. Make no mistake, she comes correct yeah. in run three. She gets three. it around, yep. Brooke again, another snowboarder we have not seen here on the X Games stage since 2021. A 76.66, so improves her score and jumps her up into fifth place. A great way to finish her night. There's a look at the beauty. The Monster Energy Women's Snowboard Super Fipe here on night one of X Games Aspen. Under the lights, it doesn't get any better than this. Mitsuki Ono. She's got that 87 from run number one, Tora. She went down on run number two. Can she push for that first place title from Chloe Kim. Chloe will obviously be the last one to drop in, but what can Mitski do here? She needs that 10. All right, no beating around the bush. Let's not beat Chloe here. She needs the cap 10. Uh, oh. That's a hard one to stomach. Has this ever happened to you when you are thinking of like, I know I have a big trick at the end, yeah. you kind of forget maybe just a simple backside five? Because we know Mitch can do that trick, right? Absolutely. And I mean, women have a hormone cycle of 28 days, you know? Some days it's your day, some days it's not. It's there for a female participating at this level, there's so many things that come into play. Craig and I are learning so much in this yeah. broadcast. Thank you, Tora. <laughs> and I mean, I watched her. She held her stomach, and it's just kind of like, yeah, it, it's it's now or never. And unfortunately, it was just something that just hung her up at backside five. I love this message. One big trick is hard enough. Imagine landing five or six of them. Yeah, exactly. That's why we're here. By the way, even though Mitski goes down, she's guaranteed the first X Games medal of her career. 
We just don't know the color. Will it be silver or will it be bronze? Because Shu Tong Sai is sitting right behind her in that bronze medal spot. Can Tong Tong climb up the podium? Knock off Ono or possibly even push Chloe? We find out now. <laughs> Love this is the that. air to fakie. Love that air to fakie. Beautiful cat set. And that is what we wanted to see. The backside alley oop rodeo. Oh. Backside alley oop rodeo 720. So much to love in this run. The way she constructs it. It is so different from everything we've seen here tonight. Wow. Oh, my goodness. So Shutong unable to complete that. And with that, we know she will keep bronze, which means it will be a victory lap for Chloe Kim as she will earn her seventh career X Games gold medal. And Tora, history-making, tying Kelly Clark. Once upon a time, you thought that was impossible. Kelly was the queen of this pipe in any super pipe contest around the world. And now here's Chloe Kim at 23 years old, tying the X Games record. And Chloe could just go down the pipe and slash every wall, but I have seen her take a victory lap before, and she wants to show the world what she's got. So we'll, we'll see what her tact is here. But you know what, guys? You have just seen Chloe Kim, a superhero. Chloe's parents, <laughs> they're all smiles. And here she is, the one, the only, seven-time X Games gold medalist, Chloe Kim. Okay, let's just go bigger. Oh, okay. Okay, taming it down there. She's setting up for something, maybe. Still a cat vibe, still yeah. a switch method. Cat 12! <laughs> cat 12, folks! And there you have it, the victory lap. She just shows you what else she's got. What happens when I do a better <laughs> run? Do I get more first? Does she get two gold medals? What's above first place? <laughs> Give it to her. Did they Holy change the format? <laughs> There's something <laughs> better than gold gear tonight? <laughs> Because if there is, Chloe just earned it. Cab 1260. Are you kidding me? Maybe not the cleanest landing, but hey, semantics. Oh, we She's got the already got the gold. Right meter. It ain't good. It ain't great. It's what we call unreal. I want to cry for her. That <laughs> smile says it all. Yes. And guys, Chloe is so much more than snowboarding. She is like so beautiful in every aspect. She is the greatest auntie. <laughs> my, my little boy loves her. Yesterday at training, he ran up to her and gave her a big hug because he remembers her. She loves children. And the comments now are rolling in. Chloe Kim tying Kelly Clark with her seventh career. Super pipe gold medal. Take another look. The air is already very thin in Aspen. How high she is on that front side 1080. Uh, it gets even thinner up there. That amplitude was unmatched. And you mentioned she ties Kelly Clark. Her mentor. How poetic is that? But to your point, Tora, she really transcends what we do out here. She's a global superstar. X Games mode, never been none. And who better to give a gold medal than seven-time X Games medalist Danny Cass putting the gold around Chloe Kim's neck. Well, let's head over to DC, who's with Chloe. Well, congratulations, Chloe Kim. You know, it's really nice to interview you again, Chloe. Welcome back to X Games, your seventh X Games gold medal, and you tied your mentor, Kelly Clark. What does that mean to you? Yes, you did. Wow, I'm um, speechless. So I'm really excited to be back. Thank you, Aspen, for having me. Um, it's been a little while. I missed you. Glad you've been well. Um, no, I'm really happy I was able to put a run down today and attempt my cab 12. I really wanted to do it in a comp, so glad I kind of did it today, yeah. 
And what do you have to say? Once again, I mean, you, your seventh gold medal, you tied Kelly Clark. She meant so much to you and where you are right now. What do you got to say about that? No, big shout out to Kelly. She was definitely one of my biggest inspirations alongside uh, Tora Bright over there. Um, if it weren't for these incredible badass women, I definitely wouldn't be here tonight. So thank you. Shout out to them and um, shout out to them for paving the way for a little girl like me. And on the victory lap, you didn't need anything big, but you went for a cab 12. Never been done in half pipe competition by a woman before. What was going through your head with that? I really wanted to do that trick for a long time. Um, I attempted it in Beijing, um, and I just really wanted to give it a shot. I wish it was a little cleaner, but I'm, I'm really stoked I was able to put it down. Well, we love you, and we love having you back at X Games. Chloe Kim, congratulations. Thank you. That is why Chloe Kim is the best in the world. She landed a world's first, and in her interview, she says, I wish it was cleaner. It kind of was it. That is how you become perfect. Tora, what would you think? <laughs> I had tears in my eyes. Like, I know what this means to her to take a break and come back like that. It's a beautiful moment in snowboarding. We've just never seen anyone quite like Chloe Kim in the super pipe. Making her return, having her presence felt, going to the moon, and earning her seventh career X Games gold medal. Wow, another look at this NBD to end the night. What an evening for Chloe Kim winning gold.